I've been a sim pilot a lot longer than I've been a real pilot. And one thing that's always missing from my sim experience is that tactile feedback through my seat to let me know what's going on in the aircraft. Until now, introducing the Butt Kicker Gamer Plus. Hey guys, welcome back to the Air Warfare Group. This is Juice. So I thought instead of boring you with a typical unboxing and hookup and install video, which you can pretty much find anywhere on YouTube right now, uh, it may not apply to DCS World, uh, but in this video, I thought I would jump right into the software and what you get with the base version of Haptic Connect software and what are some of the purchase upgrades that you might want to choose from. Now, because ButtKicker sent me this item for free for a review and they included the free software, I didn't have to pay for any upgrades. But here's some of the choices you might want to look at. If you're into racing sims, you'll want to buy the track pack unless you get the ultimate. We'll talk about the ultimate in a minute. The track pack includes racing sims that are currently uh, available in the plug-in status for the software and then anything that's added later you will have to buy for anywhere from $2.99 to $9.99 each. Now if you get the flight pack it's similar to the track pack it applies to the flight sims uh, and right now there's only four of them DCS is one of them and the same same deal if and something new comes out for the flight pack uh, later on it's a new supported game you have to buy that and it could cost anywhere from $2.99 to $9.99 now the flight pack includes flight simulator x-plane 11 x-plane 12 and DCS world which is why we're here today so I set this up and I flew with it for about an hour an hour and a half and I'm adjusting the settings that you can adjust in the game here are some of the things that you can adjust right now and I'm gonna see if we can get some other stuff added like afterburner so you can adjust your RPMs your simulated runway texture your landing gear your flaps your suspension your touchdown force your g-force your gear turbulence your speed brake your wing fold your cannons your weapons, when the, and I actually tested that, when you drop a bomb, you can feel the clunk come off the wing. Your canopy opening, closing, your parachute, and I don't know if that's the personnel recovery parachute in the ejection seat when you punch out, or if that's like the drag chute that you would have with an F5 or what's going what we're going to have with the F4. And also the refueling boom, I think that is when you get connected with the tanker in a, in a refueling situation where they're actually plugging into your aircraft and we'll find out and then there's chaff and right below that you can't see it on the slide is, is flares now as far as the software goes I think the best deal if you're gonna have to buy an upgrade if you want the track pack or if you want the flight pack and you do happen to do both racing and flight sims I would definitely go ahead and spring for the Hapti Connect software ultimate pack which includes all the titles that are supported plus any future titles that will come out in any upgrades to existing titles for free no extra charge whatsoever so if you're going to spend thirty dollars for flight pack and you're going to spend thirty dollars for a racing pack go ahead and spend the sixty dollars just get the ultimate pack and you'll be done with it now if you want to see exactly what's included with each pack go to their website I'll put a link in the description and you can check out what's in there for racing and for flight sims if you are gonna buy something as an upgrade I still think the Hapti Connect ultimate pack is the best deal so as most of you following the channel know the Air Warfare group is not a commercial channel uh, but in full disclosure I did receive this product for free I have received the ho uh, software also for free but it will not be in any way an influence on my review of the butt kicker gamer plus now I will also promise you that I'm not gonna rush out and do this review within just a couple of days I'm gonna take a few weeks and really dig into the settings and the controls and see how I can optimize it so I can properly advise the average DCS player that might be looking at this device 
Now, I've been fortunate to fly in many different types of general aviation aircraft, as well as a passenger in military cargo, refueling, and helicopters. And I could say, without a doubt, nothing's going to come close to replicating real flight and the sensations of real flight and everything. But it is kind of nice to have a little bit of a electronic transducer that gives us the reminders of those little bumps and vibrations that we used to feel in the aircraft. This is going to wrap up part one. Be sure to check in later for part two when I go through the extensive review after spending a few weeks testing the uh, Butt Kicker Gamer Plus. And if you guys are interested, be sure to hit that like, subscribe if you want, and share with a friend. Definitely leave us a comment, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.